Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and in this video, I wanted to do a little bit of a discussion as to why I like to use face masks or neck gaiters, face shields, whatever you want to call them, and also gloves when I'm out on the water. Seems to be a lot of confusion and discussion about this on social media, so hopefully uh, this video can clear some things up for you. So the first reason why, and really the main reason why I wear these items is for sun protection. You know, I do not like wearing sunblock. Sunblock will wear off over time. You have to constantly reapply it throughout the day for it to be effective and just don't like messing with it, having this on my hands and then I'm touching my uh, line and lure and it's just bad for the fish, bad for the environment. If you've ever put this on your hands and then you stick your hands in a live well, 10 minutes later, all your bait's dead, you know why. Also, banana boat says banana on it. I don't want any type of bananas on my vessel, uh, even if it says it on the packaging. So uh, it doesn't matter what type of sunscreen it is. In my opinion, I just don't like using it. Don't have to mess with the greasiness. If it gets in your eyes when you're sweating, you have to deal with that. So a little face shield is all you need. Cover your face, protect your face from the sun. Now, the next reason why I like to wear these items is because of the bugs, you know, especially a face shield on your face in early in the morning or later in the evening when all those bugs come out, you know, they're not going up your nose and your face and also they're not biting your face and you don't have to deal with, again, any type of, you know, insect repellent or spray or anything like that that's possibly going to run into your eyes or just become useless after it wears off. And with the gloves, if you've ever been in an area where there's a lot of gnats, a lot of mosquitoes, they're usually going to be biting anywhere that's exposed. You know, your hands and your face typically going to be the main areas that are exposed and your neck when you're out there on the water early in the morning because you'll, you know, we usually have our long sleeve performance shirts on, we have our long pants on, hat, uh, shoes. So those exposed areas, those bugs are going to find them and you're going to be miserable all morning. So having some sort of way to protect those areas can definitely help out. Now, one more reason why I wear these items and more specifically the gloves is because I'm fishing from a kayak. And even if you're push pulling a boat, if you're having to do anything with your hands that's very repetitive, such as push pulling or paddling or stand up paddling or anything like that, this will definitely help protect your hands, uh, especially with those, you know, fiberglass or carbon fiber uh, push poles and paddles. If they're a little bit older and worn out, sometimes you may have fibers that will come off them and get into your hands. So that's where the gloves can definitely help and come into play. Now also, I just wanted to quickly touch on what I like to look for when I am finding either a face shield or gloves uh, to wear. First thing with the face shield, I want it to be comfortable and I want it to be secure. So I like to go with something that's obviously lightweight, almost like the same material as a performance shirt. I tend to stay away from those cotton ones just because they feel really heavy and they will get really hot. Also color, go with lighter colors, you know, blue, gray, white, anything like that, that will help you uh, keep your face cooler. Stay away from those darker colors, brown, black, anything like that, because the sun's going to make those things really hot and you're just going to be miserable. So go with lighter colors, go with something that's lightweight and breathable. Also, I like to go with the face shields that have, you know, the ends are sewn. There's not just an area where it looks like it was just cut off. Uh, they're sewn down just like the end of your sleeves would be on a shirt sewn down and also with an elastic band that will help keep it secure on your face as you're wearing it so a few things to look for there and also something else you can look for with a face shield is if it has sort of like a mesh or uh, some holes around the mouth region and the nose region uh, that will help you know when you're breathing it doesn't fog up your glasses uh, because that air can escape as opposed to one that is just solid uh, material. Most of the time when you start breathing, that air has nowhere to go. It's just gonna go straight up into your glasses and it's gonna fog it up. Uh, and also a little tip when you are breathing through these is to breathe through your mouth and push your lips up against uh, the material. And that will help push the air out of the material as opposed to straight up into your glasses. So just a little quick tip there uh, to help keep your glasses from fogging up when you are wearing a face mask. And then lastly, as far as the gloves go, what I like to look for, uh, some gloves will just be a cloth material with some, uh, you know, more heavy duty cloth 
sewn onto the fingertips and the palm and the thumb. Other gloves may have some silicone on the palms. That can definitely help when grabbing fish. Uh, when you do grab fish though, just make sure your gloves are nice and wet. You know, dip your hands into the water because if you grab a fish with dry gloves, you're gonna remove the slime coat off the fish and it's not good for them. So definitely make sure you either have that silicone uh, on the palms. These are gloves made by Buff. I believe these are the Eclipse uh, gloves. They have silicone all on the palm and just make sure the, the, uh, the gloves are wet. When the silicone does get wet, it stays grippy, which is definitely nice. And these other gloves that I have here, they don't have silicone on the palm. Uh, I picked these up at Academy Sports and Outdoors for like 12 or 13 bucks. I believe they're uh, made by Cordova called Rockfish. So if you're interested in those, they have good coverage. I like that they have the really long uh, part on the wrist there so it can go up under your shirt, just less sun exposure that way. And also one more thing, when you are wearing gloves, just be cautious when you know, you're know you tying on hooks and lures. Uh, hooks and lures obviously like to grip onto cloth, especially gloves that are on your hand. So uh, just be aware of that little downside of wearing gloves when you are trying to tie on hooks and lures. Uh, just make sure your gloves are sized properly. You know, make sure the fingertips doesn't really go past that first knuckle. If it does, it's gonna interfere with tying knots, tying on lures, tackle, uh, and all that. Also, would highly recommend switching out your treble hooks with inline hooks. That'll help keep from snagging your gloves while you're tying on lures. So hopefully this video will clear things up a bit as to why people wear gloves and face masks when they're on the water. Again, it's not about looking cool. It's about protection from the sun. Also helps out with the bugs. So if you're looking for an alternative to sunblock and sunscreen, would highly recommend giving this a shot. Now, it takes a little bit to get used to, obviously, but once you get used to it, you won't even realize you have these things on and you don't have to worry about, in, you know, again, the sunblock and the bug spray, having to reapply it or having it get into your eyes or on your lures, tackle, or killing your bait. So if you have any questions about this, please feel free to leave them down below. Also, if you have any additional tips or feedback you would like to share when it comes to using gloves and face shields when out on the water, definitely let us know down below. Also, if you haven't done so already, definitely be sure to check out our Salt Strong Insider Club where we guarantee you'll start catching more inshore fish in less time. So go check that out at saltstrong.com. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.